Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, adapted from the original story by Brothers Grimm, read by me, Coach Effie. Vocabulary. Witch. Potion. Cottage. Mirror. Kiss. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Snow White. Her hair was as black as coal, her lips were as red as rose, and her skin was as white as snow. Snow White's stepmother, the queen, was very mean. She hated anyone who was more beautiful than her. The queen had a magic mirror and asked it, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Every day, the mirror had the same reply. You are the fairest, my queen. But one day, the magic mirror told the queen that Snow White was the fairest in the land. This made the queen very jealous. The queen told her royal huntsman to take Snow White far into the forest and kill her. The huntsman found Snow White but could not kill her. He warned Snow White that the queen wanted her dead. Snow White ran into the forest. The huntsman lied to the queen and told her that Snow White was dead. Snow White came to a cottage and wondered who lived there. Seven dwarves came home to the cottage and introduced themselves to Snow White as Dopey, Bashful, Grumpy, Happy, Sleepy, Sneezy, and Duck. Snow White felt safe with the dwarves, so she stayed. The queen discovered that the huntsman lied and that Snow White was still alive. She mixed a potion that changed her into an old witch and she poisoned an apple to give to Snow White. Snow White took a bite from the poisoned apple and fell asleep. The sad dwarves built a bed for Snow White. One day, a handsome prince rode into the forest. He saw Snow White and knelt down and kissed her. His kiss woke up Snow White. They rode off to the prince's kingdom where they lived happily ever after. The is. What wakes up Snow White? A kiss from a prince? A kiss from a dwarf? An apple from a witch? Hmm. That's right! A kiss from a prince. Good job! Bye-bye.